farm. And it was my job to drive the truck around and haul the irrigation line, you know, in a big uh, circumference. And one thing that I can tell you, having grown up in the Midwest, is that we have to get Monsanto and these other chemical companies out of our education institutions. Uh, public, public schools like University of Nebraska and many other public universities in the Midwest receive millions and millions of dollars in funding to their agriculture programs from these companies. So if we're going to take back our education system for things like permaculture, for organic farming, we can feed the world, but we have to start by getting the money out of where it belongs. And that's not just the FDA, it's our public schools as well. So. Got an open mic. Any other food that needs to go into the pot? Well, in that case, I'm going to turn on some music and let's dance and get hungry because soup's on. Oh, sorry. Um, I had a kid that told me about GMOs when he was about eight years old. And I was a mom living in the suburbs, feeding my family GMO food, not knowing that it even existed. And now I live in an eco village in Western North Carolina called Earth Haven. And I brought a bunch of greens from one of my neighbors. And there's, it's a permaculture 